Hello friends, welcome to our Subtip webcast. In this video, we will see the steps to implement a group policy on OU to disable services on Windows computers. So for this demo, I have a domain controller running on Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition. And I have a client computer that is part of our domain running Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. The group policy will be created on a domain controller and we will be applying it on a OU containing the computer account name MyLab Clients. So this is your OU and here we have a one client computer named SRT-CLI01. Let's open a group policy management console. Let's click on the tools on a server manager and select group policy management. On a group policy management console, expand your forest, expand your domain, expand your domain name. In my case, it is mylab.local and select your OU. In my case, that is mylab clients. Select the OU and then right click on it and select create a GPU in this domain and link it here. Now let's specify one name to our GPU. In my example, I'm going to give a name disable services GPU. Let's click on OK. This will one create one GPU and link to our OU name MyLab Clients. Select the GPU and right click on it and select edit button. On a group policy management editor console, under computer configuration, expand policies, expand windows settings. Under windows settings, expand security settings and under security settings, you will see system services. On a system services console, Right click or double click the service which you want to configure. Now in my case, I'm going to disable a Windows audio service. Okay, this is a service which we are looking for, name Windows audio. Double click on it and select define these policy settings. And here I'm going to select disable because we want to disable this service on our client computers. Let's click on apply, let's click on OK and that's it. Now repeat the process for all services you wish to disable. So let's close the group policy editor console and let's close the group policy management console as well. To test the result, let's go on our client computer and this is the our client computer name SRT-CLI0. As you can see, right now we have a Windows audio service enabled on this computer. Let's check it using services console. Now as you can see, Windows Audio Service is started. Now let's manually update the group policy on this client computer by running a command gpupdate slash force. Okay, as you can see the group policy has been updated successfully on this computer. Let's close this command prompt and now let's refresh on this console. As you can see, now Windows Audio Service is disabled. Now suppose Windows Audio Service does not disable on this computer, then you have to once restart your client computer. So this is the way how we can use group policy to disable service on a Windows computer. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.